just wanted to give you a little bit of a tutorial here. It's just going to be verbiage because uh, it's already been done. Um, but uh, ever since I bought this airplane, the altimeter needle has been out of sync with the Colesman window. Uh, so the symptoms were such that if I were to put in the local altimeter setting, <clears throat> the altitude would be wrong. <clears throat> and I actually forget what direction. I believe it indicated... it. I, t I tended to be higher than I was, which means that if I was flying in indicated altitude, uh, it was indicating low. Because in order for me to make the low indication look the way I want it, I would have to climb more to get there. And it was out of sync to the tune of about 150 feet. Um, so I've been flying around more or less local, but I, I know what all the field elevations are, so I've just been putting in field elevation. But on a long cross country, you know, as you're getting handed off from place to place, they give you local altimeter settings. And, uh, you know, to, to that degree, I would start to have a bit of an error in my altitude, and the tendency would be for me to start uh, climbing and to be higher than I really wanted to be. So with this altimeter, uh, there's an adjustment. If you get this little screw right here, it's a little flathead, and you remove that screw, you're gonna need, uh, and this really should be done under the supervision of an a and uh, which is what I did, but uh, I did it myself. And basically you're gonna use a little flathead jewelry screwdriver like this, stick it in there, twist it out, and then once that comes out, you're gonna see uh, sort of like the side of another screw that has a little shaft in it, which is threaded. So what happens is that screw uh, goes in like this, and when it goes in, uh, you can imagine a hole burrowed through it that's threaded. And then when this screw gets twisted in, it screws literally into the other screw to lock it into place. So what you're doing when you remove this screw is you're freeing up the screw that's running like this in the side of the instrument and uh, you're then able to move it. So, so when you look inside this hole, uh, which will look kind of like, I have a piece of paper here, it'll look kind of like that right there. And what you'll want to do is get uh, that little screwdriver and you're going to want to sort of pull that screw back a little bit and that's going to allow you it's gonna it's gonna uh, what's the word it's gonna unsink uh, the needles from the Colesman window and so when that when that screw is locked in uh, and it has to fit between teeth we'll get there when we get there here but when that screw uh, goes in uh, it meshes this and this together, but when this comes out, uh, these two are not synced anymore. So the pattern of this would be to be would be to set the altitude to field elevation, which in my case is 125 feet. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and once you remove this little screw, you can pull this screw out just a little tiny bit in order to unmesh it from the gear set. And then you can get this and you can rotate it and it will change the Colesman window without changing the needles. So I just got the local altimeter setting here and it's two niner niner four. And what I did is I twisted this to two niner niner four. And, um, and then when I was done, I got the screwdriver uh, and I pushed that screw back in and it took me just a little bit of finagling to, to find the gap between the teeth. But once it went back in, that little shaft was lined up again and I got this screw and I put it in and I tightened it down. And mission accomplished. So this is a correct altimeter setting right now. It's 125 feet and the altimeter setting right now is 2994. Whereas when I started this process, it was saying like 3115, or not 15, but like 31 and a half. So 
something like that. Not not quite that far. It was about 150 to 175 foot error before, but this is this is correct. So I believe I succeeded in my mission here to fix this altimeter. I believe it's synced up at this point. So um, obviously I'll test fly it and see how it does over the coming uh, several flights. But um, but that's kind of a neat little tutorial. I. Uh, uh, I found that online and uh, I uh, did it and uh, like I said it, it technically should be done under the supervision of an A&P uh, which I did so we are we achieved the objective so but that's how that works so I've been flying airplanes for a long time and that's the kind of thing you just never learn unless you own your own airplane you know you can go flying around rentals and teaching people how to fly and do all sorts of stuff and, and you never get into that little tiny detail I just never knew so very very cool so hope that helps somebody